Hi everybody, it's Matt from Matt Chris's Games. Today I'm so excited to be opening this Almond Cat Bonzel Pack. Not the fat pack anymore. I really need to get used to that. <clears throat> because literally I opened a lot of fat packs on my channel when a new set came out. I'm so excited to be opening this. But it's even better. Now they have 10 packs instead of the 10 packs. Instead of the nine, <clears throat> they had fat packs. So it's actually even fatter than fat packs now. <clears throat> I'm so excited. I mean, I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this set for such a long time. And um, here it is. I really hope <clears throat> Nickel Ball Loss is in the next set. If it's not, everybody's going to be very upset. Because, I mean, that's the main point of this, isn't it? So, I hope we get some invocations to show you guys today. So, let's get started. Thank you, Dad, for your handiwork. Let's get this opened. First, well, the second thing you're going to see is the poster. And the first thing you're going to see, well, is this. The first thing you're going to see that's in the box is this. It's like a little, I don't know what this is for, like more extra storage, I'm guessing. But I also saw that they had like, um, at some stores they had like GPs, like sealed GPs, and they just opened packs in here. That was pretty cool. What else? We have our set list. People playing magic. All the cards in the set, and let's see what the top 10 cards are. If they have that. Do they have it? They always have it. What? They don't have it? Here it is. Top 10 all cat cards. Of course, the first one's Nissa. Second is Kenneth the Mindful. Third one is Trial of Solidarity. Of course, they have to have Uncommons in there, just because they want to. Fourth is Liliana. Five is Never to Return. Six is As Foretold. Seven is Glory Ringer. Eight is Honored Hydra. Nine is Wayward Servant. And ten is Channeler Initiate. Pretty cool. And... Right here, so you open the poster. I have the poster right here. Show it down here first, then go up here. It's so big! It's huge! And they do also have a little tiny thing for kids. I love that glue. I always play with it off camera after the video. I don't know why, but it's so much fun. I did not steal this. Proof. The box. Stylish. Recliner. First class. $500 box. Stylish. What's in this? That is most definitely new. It's a uh, double-sided tokens. Let's open this. Oh, because all the embalm cards have their own token. But literally every single one. It's ridiculous. So I have a zombie. I'm getting them. Um, another zombie. I'm just going to... Show all of them. This would be her all day if I read every single one. If you can tell, almost all of them look faceless. Besides the animals, because all you can see is their mouths. Really? Wow, these look really cool. Right now, roar. Not all of these are for the um, 
bone like before I saw drakes that are for a rare in the set. Ooh, this is the Temet, the Vizier Nectum, Nectumon. There's a, that's actually a rare in the set that I got from my pre-release rares for my mom. Thank you, mom. I had a lot of fun opening that. There will be a link in the description below if you didn't see see that. I had a lot of fun opening those. Now that we have the tokens out of the way, we have our coin. I mean, not our coin, our dice, our die. It's a new thing that they started doing. I mean, not a new thing that they started doing. Duh. I was thinking of the tokens. This is the only color for the die. I was really hoping I would get a red one, to be honest, because this looks this would look awesome in red. And the angels are tokens are actually new. I mean, not the angel tokens, the tokens are new. Putting them in here. I guess a little dice box. I don't know what you would use this for. Maybe just put some extra storage. Wow, this thing comes with a lot of storage. 95, no 95, 80 lands with 20 full arts in there. This is a one in four chance of getting a full art land. The like how to play, like just short tips. And the least important part of the video. I know you guys are like, why? Why does this have to come? Our 10 packs. Okay, so so I hope you enjoyed the video. Okay, the best part is, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, five pack arts. That's interesting. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Two of each. I think that was purpose. I think they did that for a reason. And the thing is, there's no art of planeswalkers. That is really weird. There always is. So we're going to start off with this dude. Cool. I have Red Crop Spearmaster, Seeker of Insight, <clears throat> Fling, Minotaur, Anointer Priest, Mias Miasmic Mummy, Lu Luxa River Shrine. Horror of the Broken Lands, Evolving Wilds, of course, Hooded Brawler, Time to Reflect. These cards feel like a really floppy. Feels weird. Sensor, Limits of Solidarity, and Rarez, Curator of Mysteries. Four mana for a 4-4 four, four Flying Sphinx. When you cycle or discard another card, scry one. And it's cycling for one blue. Discard this card, then draw a card. Now we have a foil. It's by force. With the planes and a toll. Like a punch card. Huh? Punch card. There we go. I couldn't remember the word from the top of my head. Same dude. I have no idea who this is. We have Pathmaker Initiate, Red Crop Spearmaster again, Hieroglyph, Hero, oh my god, Hieroglyph, oh my gosh, you can't speak, Hieroglyphic Ill Illumination, Greater Sandworm, Unburden, Painted Bluffs, Bitter Warrior, Violet Impact, Binding Mummy, who already doesn't have a face, this. Decision per paralysis, 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 gates of the afterlife. The card you search for is in the next set, probably. Sixth sense, reduce to rumble, you reduce to rubble, and a rare is dusk to dawn. Four mana destroy all creatures with power three or greater. Great, dawn, returnal creatures. Eternal creatures with power two or less, 
from your graveyard to your hand. If it's five mana, not bad. The forest and a zombie token. No mythics yet, but I mean we only opened two packs, the fifth of the way. Um, a sphinx, which I think we just pulled. I have Essence Scatter, Desert Ceridon, Forsake the Worldly, Seeker of Insight, Quarry Holer, Wandering Death, Vaga Vitalist, Naga Vitalist, Winds of Rebuke, Rebuke, Unwavering Initiate, <coughs> Wayward Servant, one top ten cards. Flame Blade Adept. Trial of Solidarity. Another one of the top ten cards. And your rare is Rags to Riches. Wow, we're getting a lot of half cards. All the creatures get two minus two until end of turn. Not languish. And seven mana. Each opponent chooses a creature he or she controls. You gain control of those creatures. Meh. Because they choose the creature. And it could be a one on token, for all you know. I think that's going to be a good EDH card. Maybe. And a foil Gideon's inter Intervention, which is a rare. Four mana for an enchantment. To be honest, I've actually never seen this card in my life, so I don't remember this at all. So as it enters the battlefield, choose a name. Card name, not just like, hey, I'm um, Bob, that's the name. Your opponent can't cast spells with the chosen name, this is four mana? That is great. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to you and permanence you controlled by sources with the chosen name? This is such a good card, in my opinion. Island and a garbage token. Wow, that's so good. I mean, it's better than you just searching their deck. Because if they draw it, it shuts them out. It just shuts them out. They can't do anything with the card besides find a way to discard it. It's great in my opinion. Next, we have the same pack art. Wow, that pack really did a lot of open. I have Fan Bearer, Cancel, ugh, Thresher Lizard, Blighted Bat, Haze of Pollen, Scribe of the Mindful, Supernatural Stamina, Stinging Shot, Magma Spray, and Oketra's name. Oketra? Yep. Onward Victory. Onward to Victory. Grave Digger. Shadow Storm Vizier. And Prowling Serpopard. 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 It's like a leopard. I've been wanting this card just because it's a cat snake. So its face is down here. When its head is over there. Did the cat like, did the snake like consume the cat? Uh, I'm not even gonna ask. It's a three mana four three, it can't be countered, and creatures you control can't be countered. This might be seeing standard. Very good card. The planes, and vizier of many faces, is a t creature token, zombie shapeshifter cleric. Wow, you look how tiny they got with that. That rare is really good. And the funny thing is, I think I got a cancel in that pack too. So, nope. That cancel can't be used. Winged Shepherd. Mm. Quarry Holder. Unburden. 
Blazing Volley. Painful Lesson. Yes, first Minotaur. Emberhorn Minotaur. I'm gonna make a Minotaur deck, don't worry. Cradle of the Accursed. Mm. Floodwaters. Stinging Shot. Hazard's Monument. Mm. Edifice of Authority. My cat's playing with her toy. Even Wind Guide. I was about to say Wind Guide. And the rare is As Foretold. Mm. Oh, this card. This is good to see playing so many formats in my opinion. Why? Hello darkness, my old friend. Three mana at the beginning. At the beginning of your upkeep, put a time counter on it. That's it. Yep, that's all you have to do. Yeah, there's more. One each, once each turn, you may pay zero mana rather than play the mana cost for a spell you cast. With convert a mana cost X or less, where X is the number of time counters on it. It says each turn, so it's you and your opponent's turn. I know. <clears throat> At least you don't put a time counter on each turn. And your foil is Binding Mummy. Yes, full, first full art land. Birds. Planes. And an insect token. I think we have all the tokens. We have another pack art. Those are first, first mythic, by the way. Mm. Finally got this open. There we go. I got a hieroglyph hieroglyphic illusion illumination. Cartouche of Zeal, Cartouche of Solidarity. I would funny if this is another cartouche. Colossipede, Scarab Feast, Netcrop Entangler, mm. Oshra Cultivator, Shimmer Scale Drake, Blazing Volley, Painful Lesson, Manglehorn, Faith of the Devoted, Renewed Faith. And our rare is Harvest Season. Ugh, I hate that this card is a thing. Because you on turn three, you can have like six mana. Six lands. It's ridiculous. Three mana, search your library for up to X basic lands, where X is the number of top creatures you control. Ugh. Then put those lands onto the library. I mean, onto the library, onto the battlefield, tapped. Grr. This card is really good. With a mountain and a punch card. Punch card. Our seventh pack. Yep, our seventh pack. I have Sacred Cat. Compelling Argument, Doom Beetle, Greater Sandworm, Talk Crop Elite, Floodwaters, Gift of Paradise, Wasteland Scorpion, Emberhorn Minotaur, Minotaurs. Those Who Serve. This doesn't sound like a creature. This sounds like a instant or sorcery or enchantment. Warfire, Javelin Ear, Okatroya's Attendant, Trial of Knowledge, and a rare is Sandworm Convergence. Seven mana creatures with flying can't attack you or planeswalkers you control. At the beginning of your end step, create a 5-5 five five worm. Um, get this on turn five with the uh, harvest season, harvesting season, something like that, which, which we just pulled. The forest standard warrior token, which is alive. He's doing live and he's live and well. Next we have uh, another dude. Oh, it's going to open very easily, actually. Sweet. Huh. 
I have Essence Scatter, Desert Ceridon, Forsake the Worldly, Seeker of Insight, Shed Weakness, Soul Stinger, Pursue Glory, Unwavering Initiate, Trespasser's Curse, Final Reward, Sacred Excavation, Lay Claim, Deem Worthy, and a rare is Drake Haven. Three mana attachment, attachment, what? Enchantment, enchantment. Whenever you cycle or discard a card, you may pay one mana. If you do, get a two-two Drake. And flying. Fuller Island, and uh, another live and well warrior token. Next we have White God. Wow, this pack art feels weird. I don't know why. It just does. We have Manticore of the Gauntlet. Winged Shepherd. He's of Pollen. Festering Mummy. Scribe of the Mindful. Sounds like an artifact. Supernatural Stamina. Stinging Shot. Magma Sprite. And Okatra's Name. Aven Initiate. Hepatra's Mark. Lord of the Accursed. They Bear the Heart. And a rare is heaven to earth. It does X mana to each creature with flying. Then it X, does X mana. I mean X damage. And then red red X. Each earth does <clears throat> six damage to each creature without flying. Then a mountain and a zombie token. Not live and well. And our final pack. Can we please get an invocation? Pack has brute strength. Manitar is go where you will. Cartouche of solidarity. Cartouche of knowledge. Nimble blade Kenra. Wonder in death. Spider grasp. Yep. Final reward. Evolving wilds. Cartouche of strength. That's weird. Got three cartouches in one pack. Impeccable timing. Ken Fitz Monument. No, Kefnet's Monument. Even Wing Guide. Wind Guide. Skilled Behemoth. And our final rare is Oracle's Vault. It's a rare for damage. Exile the top card of your library until end of turn. You may play that card. Put a brick. Until end of turn, you may play that card. Put a brick counter on Oracle's Vault. Exile the top card of your library until end of turn. You might play that card without play, without paying its mana cost. Activate this ability only if there are three or more counters on this. What? What? Ew! Ugh! 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 The swamp and anoint priest. Not live and well. Ew, that rare though. Ugh. So, what do you think of the new set? <clears throat> Tell me what you think in the comments below. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. And if you enjoyed the video, please share with your friends. I have a Twitter account, it's my reviews all. And I have a Facebook account, it's Matt Christmas Games. And if you want to send me some SCBM, give me an email at mattchristmasgames at gmail.com. And Bye! Oh, Dad, look, Dad, look, this looks like E.T. Uh-huh. E.T., move it. No, do the E.T. 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 All right, almost gone. So